All right, today I'm going to teach you uh, the basic about differentiation because when we talk about differentiation, right, a lot of students just don't know what is differentiation and most of them only know differentiation basically means dy dx. Okay, but what is the meaning of dy dx? dy dx basically means the gradient function. Okay, but when I say gradient function, still a lot of students don't understand what's the meaning of gradient function. Basically, it means gradient of any line. It can be curved, can be straight line. Okay, so most of the time in SPM, when you see dy dx, you use it to find the gradient of a curve. So when you have the gradient of the curve, right, there's few important points I want you to know here. The first thing is the maximum or the minimum point. So Whenever it's maximum or minimum point, right? Over here, we must know dy dx will always equal to zero. So this is first thing you must know when you see this one we call maximum point because you see the curve. This curve over here, they have a so-called turning point and this turning point they call maximum point. So dy dx will equal to zero. Same idea when the curve go until another turning point, this turning point we call minimum point and dy dx will equal to zero. Then now you have second problem. Because both of them also dy dx equals zero, how are you going to differentiate is it maximum or minimum? So therefore, they come out another rule to differentiate whether it's maximum or minimum. So when this one is the maximum, when you do second derivative, which is d2y dx squared, you will always less than zero. So when this, is, this one is minimum, the second derivative means when you differentiate second time, you will get positive value. This is how we differentiate. It is maximum or minimum. So normally when this is less than zero, I will just write it is maximum. And this is more than zero, which is positive value. I will say it is minimum. So this is one of the very important concepts of this topic, differentiation.